Thanks for tuning in to another quick Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, today we're talking about how to use the uh, loft object object to do some three-dimensional modeling. Um, so before I dive into that, the first thing we have to do is set up our viewport here. So we're going to go into the, the front view and um, to mess with some of the options here, we go, we're going to go into options and configure. And so what we can do here is we can set an image that will be our back view while we're working in here. Um, and I downloaded a, an image that we're going to use to um, model a few things. And so I'm going to bring this in. So we've got a couple different rocket ships here that we can model and basically make the base object um, using loft. So what we're going to do then is we're going to bring in the loft object and then we're going to bring in a circle. And we're going to set that to the XZ. And we're going to drop it under loft just like so. So next we're going to pick one of these. And you'll notice these, all, the, all the main shapes to these different rocket ships are all some variation of egg shaped or like torpedo shaped. Um, and so we'll start with just kind of a basic one like this one right here. So I'm going to kind of zoom in on this and I'm going to grab my circle. Actually first I should zoom out. I'm going to grab my circle and bring it in near the nose of this rocket ship. And then I'm going to scale it way down to kind of make that little initial, basically the top of this rocket ship. I'm going to zoom way in. Put it right up here at the nose, somewhere like that. Okay. So once you've got that set up, now all you're going to be doing is basically holding down Command or the Windows key and extruding out another circle. So you'll notice what I'm doing here is dragging it out, and then I'm resizing the cone to match that shape. A better way to display this would be to go into our, um, our shading and now we can kind of see what this is looking like and this is basically making a full cylinder um, but we can't see that yet because we're just in this flat view. So I'm just going to kind of keep working here. Maybe I'll speed this up as I go. Okay, so you'll notice I've just kind of done a rough job of it, but I've done a pretty good job, I think, of capturing uh, this shape and bringing it basically into three dimensions. So now if I come in here, boom, I've got the shape that I want of my rocket ship, um, and we can always go back in and update some things just by going into our loft object and taking the different uh, circles. And if you do some adjustments, you may want to um, just go to a different type of shading, like maybe hidden line, so that you can see where your different uh, circles are. And let's say I, I, you know, I can even add more if I want to. Um, but for, for right now, I'm just going to leave this as is. And uh, you know, basically we're going to do some variation of that again to create the two rocket boosters and then you're just going to basically do create some splines to attach this thing and you've got yourself a pretty quickly made rocket ship. So uh, thanks for watching this quick tutorial. Hope you learned something and uh, stay tuned.